Hi, I'm Jenny Ray LaRue, the Managing Director of Management Consulted, and I'm here with Matt Plummer, who is about to become a famous case interviewee, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. I've been <laughs> training for a long time. For this. <laughs> Uh, Matt has an amazing background. He's worked in corporate. He worked for Bridgespan, and he's offered to come today to show us how market sizing is done. And of course, I'm not going to be nice to you. I'm going to push on a whole bunch of things, but we'll have some fun in the process at least. I would expect nothing less. Yeah. So, so we're going to dive into this. I'll read you the prompt of the question. Great. Uh, the goal for this is that we're mirroring a Bain style first round interview, probably more targeted at, at undergrad that would do this as kind of a, let's call it a math plus or a, a strategy case that's wrapped with mostly a math question. Okay. And so I've come up with a question that I think is kind of interesting. It'll be fun to walk through it with you today. Great. Awesome. Great. So uh, the question is that we serve a large conglomerate that does direct to consumer lamps and other small furniture pieces for homes. So think accessorizing features, baskets, small side tables, et cetera. They do these flat packed and they are successful in the U.S. They've been operating for about four years. The company's interested in entering the Mexican market as one of their closest neighbors from a logistical standpoint. And they're interested in sizing the market specifically for their lamp segment. So they're wondering how many lamps are sold every year in Mexico and what does that mean for the client? Do you have any questions about the background? Right. Yeah, and about... Uh... What's the market share and market size that they have in the U.S. at this point? Great. Let's assume that it's a pretty fragmented market, so under 10 percent, but okay. still uh, what they would consider to be a sizable share. Great. Well, is it OK if I take a minute or two to write down the structure for this? Take as much time as you need. All right. Great. Okay. And just to, uh, to clarify, is it okay if I focus on, um, you know, lamps that would be, you know, I'm thinking like a conventional lamp that you would find in the house, either on a desk or even a standing lamp that would be in like a living room type versus like something that would show up more like in an office space or in a shop. Tell me so. why you think that makes sense to focus on. I'll let you do it, but you have to convince me. Yeah, I think... So as I think about the, the Mexican market, I think that there, it's probably a broader residential market at this point, um, particularly because there's likely to be some underdeveloped areas that are likely unlikely to have as, as much of the either corporate furniture or the um, more industrial furniture. Great. Then let's go for that. Great. So first I would start with what is the population of Mexico? Okay. And then we want to know, you know, how is that broken into households? Okay. Mm. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, how many lamps does each household have? And then, you know, what what's the roughly the amount that a a household would spend on a lamp? Okay. Um, so does that basic structure seem to make sense? Seems to make sense to me. Why don't you walk through what some of the data would be? <laughs> okay. So population of Mexico. So know that the United States is, you know, around 325 million. I'd guess it's, you know, maybe around a third of that. So um, I'd say, let's say 125 million. Okay. Why would you guess it's a third? Uh, just based on, uh, you know, I'm thinking about the the rough size of the country and the number of urban centers there compared to the U.S. Uh, so uh, it, it seems like that would be... Uh, you know, n not not bordering on half, but yeah. Okay. Under that. Scarily close. It's about 130 million. So we awesome. can use 135 great. or 130, sorry, as our number. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, number of households. Uh, so we have 130 million people. Um, 
you know, if I think that the the number of children uh, per family is likely to be higher there in the states, and so I'm if I start with an assumption of a two and then adjust off of that, I'd say you know it's probably going to be a bit higher. So I might say something closer to two and a half um, around for a household number. Okay, sounds good. Okay. And then number of lamps per household. So, you know, I'm thinking to my own experience of how many lamps would I, you know, have I in the houses I've been, um, you know, number of rooms per house. Uh, so, you know, if we think of a two bedroom, for example, which maybe is an average in the States and then I'll adjust for Mexico. Um, so you have five rooms maybe in, in a two bedroom. And let's say there's probably about one or two lamps per room. So let's say seven, seven lamps in, in a U.S. household. So I might think that household size or the houses might be a bit smaller on average. And so I don't know. I think five is probably a rough estimate of how many lamps you would find in a house. Sounds good to me. Mm. Okay. Now I reserve the right to disagree with you later. <laughs> don't take my numbers okay, yeah, as let's, a let's see sign of it, enforcement or, yeah. or, or approval. Okay, go ahead. Great. Mm -hmm. So thinking about how much uh, someone would spend on a lamp, uh, you know, in the States, probably I'm thinking around $30. Uh, and so Mexico, I would expect it to be a bit cheaper. Um, let's say 20 pesos. Okay. What's um, it, do you know what the currency exchange rate is? I was going to add. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the, <laughs> Why don't we just do it in dollars? So okay. We can always convert it later. Okay. Um, so right. are you th are you thinking thirty to twenty dollars? So I think it would there? be yeah, it would be more like twenty dollars if it was a one to one exchange rate. Fair. So, um, so all right. So we'll do yeah, twenty dollars. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, should I run through the math? Go for it. Okay. So we have one hundred and thirty million. We want to divide that by the number of households there are. Um, so I'm just going to do some quick. Um, here, so five. Um, so we're we're talking about um, about fifty million there, times five lamps per household, which is two hundred and fifty million times twenty dollars per lamp. So um, we're talking about. Five billion there in U.S. dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for a full market size in Mexico, we're saying that uh, for lamps, household lamps, that it would be a roughly five billion. Now, what does that five billion represent specifically? Mm -hmm. So that represents the total spend in Mexico of for residential household lamps. Totally. Would yeah. we think about it in total, or is there a better way to think about? It that would maybe match up with our revenue estimates. So we could we could look at the you know you mentioned the market share in the beginning mm -hmm. of what the what you have in the U.S. and you mentioned it was a fragmented market. Yeah. You know if we're entering a new market, there's likely to be some established players. So we would you know if we have ten percent in the U.S., my guess is at least starting off we would have even lower than that. Mm -hmm. So if I just say five percent of that, um, so. <clears throat> I'm poking on one other thing too. So five billion represents all of the lamps that anyone would own in Mexico. But if we think about the market size, what if we did it on a per year basis? Okay. Yeah. So how often are people buying those? Totally. Lamps? How would yeah. you factor that into your numbers as well? Mm. So I guess, you know, how what's the replacement frequency of the lamps? And so um, you know, I'm thinking about lamps last quite a long time. Uh so I would say my guess, and I think this might even be a little aggressive, would be 10 years uh, lifespan of a lamp. You know, I could imagine it being, I could imagine being longer, but let's, say, half, right? let's say 10 years. Okay. Um, so then essentially if people are going to buy them every 10 years, then they're only for for the amount that's being purchased in a year, it's going to be a tenth of that, so okay. 500 million. Great. Um, so then we would take the 500 million, we'd measure it up against the market share. Right. Great. So what's your strategic assessment of this? So if we're just going to write some numbers, so 500 million, and then we said that you know maybe you could assume you have five percent of that going into it, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> which is 
$25 million per year. So they've been at it four years in the U.S. and they have 10% market share. And um, this offers potentially a $25 million market on a yearly basis. Um, you know, without knowing, so if we, without knowing the full size of the market in the U.S. and going through that, um, my guess would be this, this doesn't feel like a huge market to me. Um, I would want to consider it relative to their other growth opportunities and see how it compares to that. But my sense is that this would be a moderate opportunity um, based on potentially other opportunities they would have. Great. Okay, relax. Okay. Let's just talk about it really yeah, quickly. Great. So I took a couple of notes as you were going through it. Overall, good job. I like you. I, I could see that you could do the work and you were very receptive to my pushback, which is definitely an important thing from a Bain interview great. Uh, perspective. And so I thought your notes and your clarifying questions were really good. Uh, I wasn't sure at the beginning when you asked about the market share where you were going to tie that in. But then when I saw later you added it back into the strategy. I thought that was a really good question. Okay. So I was concerned at the beginning that you were just asking me random strategic questions without really thinking about the implications of them. Maybe just one hint would be to push a little bit more into identifying why you're asking the question. Okay. I want to know yeah. market share because. And you also asked about the other adjacent markets, and I kind of pushed back on that too. And I said, well, you know, why would you want to know? And what you're saying is essentially, I'm interested in this, but I also would think that the opportunity will be bigger than just lamps. So... What would we think about for that? Uh, then um, your numbers, I thought that your structure was pretty good. That one piece at the end of right, yeah. the replacement rate, I think, would be pretty standard. So that's why I was just asking you at, at the beginning, I'd really want you to define, here's why I want to go after households. And then this is the piece that you know we really have to focus on. And here's why we're calculating it in this. But I think most yeah. of the time for Bain, I'd probably want it in the annual basis just because it's going to... Most markets right, are going to no, feel big, yeah. <laughs> not knowing how long it's going to take to replace things or maybe small, too small if something has a more frequent replacement rate. And then I would want you when you go through the household explanation to just defend yourself. Tell me at the beginning, I want to do households and here's what I did. So I thought you were very okay. polite about that and asking permission for it. Um, but just explaining, I built the structure around the household market because I think it's the most important gets me right to where I would want to go. And then I still might reserve the right to tweak it. Yeah. Um, and then one final tip about that piece at the end of the case, I probably would have gone back to that assumption because that 25 million is probably underestimating the full size mm. of the market because you only carved out households in the beginning. Yeah, that makes sense. Other than that, I thought your assumptions were pretty reasonable. I couldn't believe that you actually knew close-ish, the population of Mexico. We usually get people around the 50 million mark or the, the classic 100 million guests yeah. where, where they are. So I thought that was a pretty good uh, estimate. Uh, the the um, 2.5 on households, I was really worried when you said that because that's not the easiest number from a calculation standpoint. So um, anyhow, you did a good job with the calculations Great. for that. And then uh, the five was good. I was really glad that you picked an easy number and defended it. And I thought your defense was good. And then the 20 was also pretty good from a calculation standpoint. And your calculations, I didn't see major issues with. So uh, across the board, I really liked the bigger picture. And I feel like you could have tied a few of those things together. But overall, really good job. And thanks for walking through the market sizing case. Awesome. Thank you.